About a month ago, I responded right. to a woman's Craigslist ad looking for a virgin man, i.e. 18 and older, to have sex with. That's done. <laughs> done. Check, please. Bye. I'm not a virgin, but it's been about three and a half years since the last time I had sex, mm -hmm. so I responded to the ad anyway. <laughs> she came nice. over to my house a couple days after that, and we hooked up. Now, here's my problem. We've been out about three times after this, and I'm starting to develop real feelings for her. I know that it won't work if it's built on a lie, but she has a wonderful personality and could see myself in a long-term relationship with her. What do I do? Oh, man. Okay, there's a lot. There are some layers. There's a lot of moving parts in this Rue Goldberg machine. Um, I'd like to start with the top layer, which is, yes... Yes, you should tell her. If you want to build a relationship with this woman, you should tell her because you're right. Your your instincts are right. Yes. Um and and you may I mean, it may be irreparable. That's a pretty big thing. That's kind of the biggest But it but it's better for it to be if it's irreparable, it's better to get it out now. Right. Than like nine months from now, you know. I don't know, some friend telling a story about, you know, her, about this wild night in college or something, and then she finds out, and it's like, well, we've been living a lie for nine months as opposed to three days. Right. You you don't want to end up like this one guy I know and have to pretend to really like Barbara Streisand movies for three years because that's the that, worst. that was the way you got the relationship going. Oh, you, what you also don't want to happen is to get your whole head cut off and buried in her fucking yard. Why are you dating a praying mantis? What? This is a good question, because now let's go to a deeper layer. Okay, say, which is every sentence in this email is the craziest thing I've ever... She wants a virgin man, i.e. 18 years or so older. So she's a Yeah, she's a witch, I should right? fucking definitely hope so. So she's, she's, a witch, right? so she's like fully gozer. Right, I mean, she's yeah. Gozer, basically. <laughs> Just yeah, so we're clear. She's looking for the keymaster to to her gatekeeper. Right. Let's also talk about the fact that she wanted to fuck a sweet, sweet, innocent porcelain doll of a of a fresh faced boy, and you were not a virgin. You had dipped it before. But you that's, that's what she was saying. Like, like if you met up and immediately had sex, she just wanted to flower a dude, right? These are all good and important and awful questions. <laughs> but then, but then to say, he, the, okay, listen, question asker. I'm not trying to judge, but to say that she, her whole deal was to look for a dude to deflower off the internet, and now you're developing real feelings for her. It's like, man, maybe you need to really examine the second half of the sentence I just said. Because I don't think that she. I mean, that doesn't sound like what she wants. Yeah, I think it she just wants like to. She's really looking to settle down. If so, she'd be on Match. dot com instead of Skeevy it, Craigslist. Yeah, I think she's just going back to make sure you're like super deflowered. Like she's going to make sure she got every yeah. last petal off of you. Like, what about your anal virginity? I'll take that next. I want to get all of it. Ass to mouth. Here we go. What's like, up with your knee pits? <laughs> haven't seen those yet. Gonna fuck those. Lube them up. Put that weird monkey toe in me. <laughs> Day. Come on, shitty Tim. Put that little toe in me. <laughs> I want to fuck all your toes one by one. Stock up on calcium. This is cramp inducing. Uh, all, all of this is is thoroughly erotic, but um, you need to you need to keep your heart three stacks because this I don't know yeah, about. I don't know that she's sitch. looking for this. I bet if he, I bet he didn't listen to the whole Craigslist, he said eighteen and older. I bet it's a little more like eighteen to nineteen is is how the ad read. I don't want mm -hmm. anybody. I don't want a bunch of old meat. Mm -hmm. She wants a fresh, fresh, uh, fresh plate. If you can actually come to me the night before your eighteenth birthday, and then we can bring it in in style. This I think please don't tell any loved ones where you've gone or somewhere mm. where they can track you. That would be great. Yeah, this is going to be. We want boy. Well, basically, what we want is a one hundred and twenty-eight hours setup. I need to resurrect my fallen lord. How much blood do you have in you? Hey, Are let's you like willing to give. Let's be like totally honest that if you responded to a Craigslist from someone looking to consume an 18-year-old virgin, 
Maybe instead of developing feelings, you should be busy counting your lucky stars that you have a head attached to your body, and, and that your all your blood, your in that blood head is not actually, staining a like Motel a Six right now. From the eighties, where like he goes and they go to like collect his blood, and they're like, "But it's not working. Are you really a virgin?" And he's like, "Well, it's been three and a half years." Musical sting, you know. Yeah. It's like this is yeah. set up for. I, an I, I can't movie. believe this fucking panned out for this dude. I know. I can't believe really that good. he went on Craigslist. And Craigslist was like, hey, I want to fuck you, shitty Tim. And then he was like, okay. And then he fucked Craigslist, and now he's alive. Like, none of the... I, maybe three of those things could happen, but not, not it's all of them. It's got to balance out until, like, three years from now, like, an asteroid falls on him or something. Just as, like... Yeah. It's like Final Destination. You know, he, he death missed him, and now yeah. they'll be hunting him for the rest <laughs> of his life. I sold my bet on Craigslist... I was selling it for two hundred dollars. This woman showed up. She's like, "Oh, nice, nice. How about a hundred dollars?" So I kind of got fucked by Craigslist in Wait, a way. Did that really happen? Yeah. Did she give you a hundo? She gave me a hard sell for a hundo. She was just coming out of a divorce. Things were not doing great, and she was sitting on my bed, and I was extraordinarily uncomfortable. She's sitting on my bed. Holy. She's like, "Hey, this, this got a good spring to it. What's your virginity sitch right now? <laughs> Where are you at as far as your flower? Where's the mm-hmm. flower at?" <laughs> 